Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. I am Pathic here with new video series on coding pi. In this video series I will show you how this mathematical constant pi appears in nature in strange and different patterns and then using those patterns we will calculate approximate value of pi. If you are a beginner then don't worry, my main motive is to show you how we can use those patterns for coding. Now let's talk about today's topic. Euler's pi formula. Euler managed to prove that, if you add reciprocals of squares of natural numbers till infinity, that you will get this value of pi squared divided by 6. Pretty, isn't it? We know that, this pi is somehow related to circle, but here you won't see any circle, directly. If you want to see it in direct relation to circle I will link down 3 blue 1 browns video in the description. And if you want to see how Euler managed to prove this I will link down Mathologer's video in the description, which I highly recommend you to watch to see this beauty of mathematics after this video. Now let's see how we can calculate this approximate value of pi using this Euler's pi formula. So to get pi, first we will calculate right hand side, say s. Then, we will multiply s by 6. Then, we will take positive square root of s multiplied by 6. So using this we can calculate value of pi. Now let's see how we can use this to code and what algorithm to use. So we have this series s, in this type of series problem including summations what we generally do is that. Initially we say there was nothing like say 0. That is we are initializing our series with 0. Since we knew this pattern we will add 1 divided by 1 squared and 0. Then, we will add 1 divided by 2 squared in previous term. Then, we will add 1 divided by 3 squared in previous term. Then, if we go on doing this infinitely many times we will eventually get our series S. So this is our algorithm. As we discussed earlier we will initialize our series S with 0. This I will indicate that square term in the denominator which we are adding and it will change with each iteration. Now you may ask why n iterations. To get this series we will have to add infinite terms. Right. But that's not possible since our computer or machine is not made to do such infinite tasks. So that's why we will have to do n iterations where to get more precise value we will have to set those iterations very high. And this is also one of the reasons why it's not possible to have exact value of pi since we need infinite iterations. As this iterations are finished we will have to output this value of pi, which is square root of 6 multiplied by s. Now let's see how this algorithm will work for different iterations. Consider first iteration, where i equals 1. Since initially s is equal to 0 and i equals 1 we will add 1 divided by 1 squared and 0. That is we are assigning s to be 0 plus 1 divided by 1 squared. And then we will increment value of i to i plus 1. Since in next iteration we will have to add 1 divided by 2 squared in s. Now consider second iteration. In the second iteration, i equals 2. Since in previous iteration s is equal to 0 plus 1 divided by 1 squared and now i equals 2 we will add 1 divided by 2 squared and 0 plus 1 divided by 1 squared. That is we are assigning s to be 0 plus 1 divided by 1 squared plus 1 divided by 2 squared. If we go on doing this till n iterations, then at nth iteration we will have i equals n, so this will be our series s. And then i will get incremented to n plus 1 but since iterations are over there is no use of i now. So we'll output this value of pi. Now let's see coding part. For coding I am using Python language, but you can any other language since algorithm will be same for any programming language. This is approximate value of pi to 18 decimal places which I have shown here for reference. Let's have a look at our code. In first example, we will set our number of iterations to be 1000. As we discussed earlier we will initialize s yes with 0. Then, for 1000 iterations we will use this for loop where i will vary from 1 to 1000. As this for loop will get ended we will print out this value of square root of 6 multiplied by s. For taking square root I am using this square root function from math library in Python. 
So as you can see here we have pi equals to 3.1, 4, 0 and so on. So you can see that we are getting an approximate value till two decimal places for 1000 iterations. Now let's see what we get for 10,000 iterations. Code part will be same only difference will be there and for loop is the number of iterations. So we get pi equals to 3.1, 4, 1, 4 and so on. So we are getting approximate value till three decimal places. Now as you go on increasing iterations you will get precise value to more and more decimal places. Just like here for 10 raised 6 iterations we are getting an approximate value to 5 decimal places. But remember, don't go to high because your computer won't be able to handle those high iterations and your computer may get crashed. So that's it for this video I hope you learned something new. If you have any suggestions drop down in comment section. And stay tuned for next video. Thanks for watching.